I am Eddie Kimani. I am CEO and head coach at Life Sports and Recreation Company Limited, a company that does sports, wellness, and recreation for corporates, individuals, and schools. We do a variety of activities from skating, swimming, uh, skateboarding, all the way to ball games and athletics. My dream and my passion is to bring sports to everyone in this country and to have sports as a credible career. Life Sports is a company that was formed in early 2000s in Kenya, but incorporated in 2016. We deal with a variety of sports and recreation activities, having done our research in the country for the past 10 years. Well, Kenya is known for a variety of champions, from athletics to rugby, and it is our dream as Life Sports and Recreation Company Limited to bring the same viable careers to kids all over the country. We started in 2013 with our academy at Kasaraini Stadium teaching skating and swimming. Right now, we have a variety of clients from international schools, sports clubs, corporates and churches. We provide a variety of wellness and recreation solutions for your everyday needs. Well, the wellness industry is valued over billions of shillings. And in this country, it's an awareness that is starting to grow with all the lifestyle diseases from cancer to obesity it is our dream to bring perfect wellness the right information to kenyans with this we have worked with a variety of organizations from africa yoga project doing yoga in streets to schools and, and uh, communities we've also working with premier rehab and wellness centers for pain relief yoga and wellness ladies and gentlemen this is the next revolution in wellness in this country. Life Sports and Recreation Company Limited has come through a long journey. We are inspired by the kind of talent and skill that we see from the ghetto to the streets. For the story, Life Sports was started as, an, as a skating academy in Kasarani Stadium where we used to teach skating to boys from Korogocho, Babandogo, Gedurai, and the environs. Right now, we can stand witness and see the empowerment in those kids. We have taught them skating from the time they started as beginners. Right now, some of them are doing racing for the Kenya Federation of Roller Skating, and others are earning a living through the same activity, through road shows, mascot activations, um, ushering, and, and water view. Well, it has been a journey for us since the research, looking for facilities in this country whereby we know the space is not readily available. We have gone to create spaces in communities, in estates, any kind of field we can find. We have gone ahead and tried to launch sports activities. Well, for us, we are guided by passion. Our success stories come from the kids that we see being empowered, from having no vision in life, to start doing sports and now getting scholarships to go and study abroad, study in the country, get jobs and stuff. Like we have a, a number of students who have been through our soccer academy, a cappella united in Gedurai, and have the, they've gone and uh, gotten jobs from the disciplined forces in this country to some of the leading corporates. It has been a journey in that for us, it started way back in 2013 when we had just two or three kids coming for our activities. But now we have grown to a network of over 500 kids in and outside the country. Well, one of the, best, one of the challenges that we have faced has been, through, has been policies, policies that have been set through by the government, uh, policies that run the estates, the gated communities, the schools. But awareness is changing, and also the system of education in the country is changing. So we see a better future in terms of sports, in terms of wellness, in terms of recreation. We believe that we are the ones who are going to take sports in this country, in this continent, to the next level. Well, one of our biggest drives is talent development and development of sports as a viable career. In, in this country, we have noticed that sports has, had been regarded 
as just something to do. It, it was not regarded as a career. So we took it upon ourselves to create that culture, starting from kids as young as 10 years old, both male and female, trying to teach them sports and uh, arts activities. Well, in as much as sports is concerned, we have noticed that the awareness in this country is growing, in that more parents are subscribing their kids to activities that will help them foster and nurture their talent, their abilities, and their interests. Well, for kids, we can say it's 50-50 uh, um, it's in, in terms of female and male. But for wellness, it gets to a place that more females are being discouraged and more males are being encouraged to do the sports and activities. We'd like to shun this kind of culture because we have seen internationally that both men and women, if anything, more women are breaking records now than men. So we'd like to encourage the parents of this country, African parents, to bring their kids and to expose their kids to wellness activities, to sports activities, even in their schools that they're in. Please subscribe your child to that activity because it helps them foster one, their mental uh, capacity, two, their social interactions, their hand-eye coordination, their fitness, their personalities, their discipline, and a whole range of other benefits. So we encourage kids, we encourage parents to bring their kids to, for such activities that we provide at life. In sports and arts, one of the factors, one of the driving major factors is sustainability and empowerment. How do you sustain your business? How do you sustain the people who are doing sports? How do you empower them? How do you give them a living from what they're doing? Well, for us, life sports, it had been a challenge before until we figured out the way to do it. One thing is sports in this country is not considered is not considered as an economically empowering activity until you get to the champion status. Well, for us, we have changed all that. We give empowerment to the players that are playing all the way from the under 12 league. First, our source of income comes from our clients, the clients who subscribe to our activities, the schools, the corporates, the churches, and also well wishes. So what we do is we create a system of empowering the people who are participating in these events. One, through transfer of skills, people who are good at in sports, like let's say taekwondo, cricket, soccer, skating, we can use those people, we train them on a model of coaching whereby they can go to schools, to communities, to clients. At Life Sports, we empower our members, our coaches and our trainers through one, giving them the right information on what to do and two, equipping them with the right skills so they can go out and make money and create a portfolio for themselves. We also give them uh, financial, uh, financial advice, financial training so that they can know how to manage their royalties, how they know to manage uh, their endorsements and such.